Steph, Wayne, Christy, morning, morning, everybody. Yeah, live here, of course, a little clue as to who might be from Northeast Ohio. Yep, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. You know, he was part of that Seattle grunge scene, so everybody just assumed he was from that part of the country. Nobody from Warren, Ohio, even knew that he was born there. My kids said they met Dave Grohl out at the mall, and I said, uh, what, what? I go, no, Dave Grohl is from Seattle or something or whatever, and I go, let me look this up. He's born in Warren. It took me probably until after the year 2000, I even realized that he was from Warren originally. And he was here till he was like maybe three or four years old. Once word started to spread about Dave Grohl's connection to Warren, Ohio. Is someone getting the best? The best, the best, the best. Oh, yeah. People thought something should be done to honor his rock and roll legacy. I go, this might work. Let's do something music like. Oh, yeah. And as soon as Joe O'Grady brought up the idea, everybody jumped on it. Yes. And on August 1st, 2009, the city dedicated David Grohl Alley to their distinguished hometown hero. We reclaimed the alley for us, and the city said, yes, you can have it, and you can do whatever you want to. The alley is a mix of art and rock. Metal sculptures scattered between artwork and murals depicting Dave from his time in his various groups, Nirvana, them crooked vultures, queens of the stone age, and of course, Foo Fighters. The alley also boasts a colossal reminder of Dave's musical talents. You know, Dave, Dave's a drummer. Let's, let's, these drumsticks, we could cut down two trees and make the world's largest drumsticks. This is one of the prime photo spots here in David Grohl Alley on the world's largest set of drumsticks that they dedicated to Dave from his Nirvana days when he played drums. Dave loves it. He's been back here many times. In fact, he's brought his family here. And next thing I know, all my neighbors are taking pictures with Dave because he brought his kids here to come see the alley. The alley has become a must-see attraction for those going to Trumbull County. Dave embraced it which is probably the number one thing. Just a wonderful man, you know, just a wonderful guy. and Not pretentious, talk to everybody, down to earth, yeah, but he's from the Midwest originally, so you expect that. And who knows, if you stop by, you just might see a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee in person. In time I'm so I'm just 30. Wow, that's uh, amazing. Second time for Dave Grohl. So now with Foo Fighters, of course, he was already inducted with Nirvana. That's great for the whole band to be inducted as well. And this is, this is an amazing exhibit, too. All the, I love these videos watching those. It's kind of cool to see that.